there, we're covering the Axosoft Dashboard's essentials in this video. Let's start by creating a dashboard for my project. Click this button to create a new dashboard. This is where you can configure the team access, the size of the dashboard, and your global dashboard settings. In my global dashboard settings, I only care about showing the current sprint, so that's what I will have displayed by default, and I'll set hours as my default time unit. Clicking this plus sign in the upper left displays all the available dashboard gadgets. Let's see how this works by dragging and dropping the burn down chart. My global dashboard settings match up to my needs without having to change any other setting. If I do want to tailor my settings, I can go ahead and do so by unchecking this box and setting my preferences. Other dashboard gadgets include the item chart, which we'll talk about more in a moment, the required velocity, which tells you how fast the team needs to work in order to meet the due date, the current velocity, which shows you the current velocity of the selected release or sprint, the speedometer, which is a visual way to see your projected ship date, required velocity, and current velocity all at once. The green section here would represent my required velocity. We have two special charts, the cycle time and flow. The flow chart tells you how many items are in a workflow step or status over a period of time. It's a great way to spot a bottleneck. And cycle time tells you how long an item has been sitting in a given workflow step or status from start to end. So it's a great way to also break this apart by users to see what the cycle time looks like. Work remaining totals the remaining estimates for your selected release. And the estimated versus actual gadget is great for retrospectives as it compares your initial estimates with what actually happened. Item charts are the most flexible gadget in your dashboard. It groups data by count, remaining estimate, or work done. Let's name this example item chart release status. I will group by status. I will set the aggregation type to item count. Let's add an additional series and I will select assign to and the chart type to pie chart. And here we go, we have our item chart. If you click on any one of these pie chart slices, you can dive further into the series you specified earlier. Make sure to try different combinations to see what you like. Now, if you're looking to share this dashboard, you can navigate to the gear in the upper left and then click on dashboard settings. Here you will find the share URL setting. Enabling this will let you share your dashboard with non-Axosoft users like managers, executives, and stakeholders. Okay, that covers the basics of dashboards in Axosoft. As always, if you're not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, we encourage you to subscribe right here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.